Ah, greetings one and all. Welcome to the Easy and Delicious Kitchen. I've just um, decided I felt like um, a nice uh, steak dish. So what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, just make a marinade and um, I've actually got a bit of spare time. I'm off work for a couple of days, so I've already got tonight's dinner organised. That's something else. I'm actually making some stuffed capsicums for tonight. Um, I'll put the link to them just on the screen now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to marinate, make a marinade for these steaks and I've got about 500 grams of steak I've got this nice um, porterhouse here So yeah I've got three pieces but all together it's about yeah about 500 grams and you can use any sort of steak you like as long as it's a nice sort of fillet and I've just decided to do that because it looked nice <laughs> use the porterhouse but whatever you want um, so the first thing I'm going to do is make my marinade so I've got my little wizard thing here so it's going to be in like a Brazilian style I guess so first ingredient is I've got half a red onion and I've just sort of yeah, cut that sort of in quarters I've got quite a lot of garlic here being South American they love their garlic I've got one, two, about seven, eight, nine 10 cloves of garlic. I've got about half a cup of orange juice. I've got the juice of one lime. I've got the juice of one lemon. I've got about two teaspoons of dried oregano. And I'm just going to put a heap of salt in that. Don't hold back on the seasoning. And same with the pepper. Nice and generous cracked black pepper. And just a little slug of olive oil. Just about a tablespoon there. What I'll do is I'll put the uh, lid on this. And fire it up. So yeah, I've just got a little sandwich bag thing here. Um, let's see, oh, should be big enough. <laughs> should have got a bigger one. So I'm going to put my three pieces of steak in, into there and like I say I'm going to be marinating this for overnight and I'll just sort of squish it around now and then so what I really need to do, I'll just take about my marinade in there Make sure you get all those little chunks of garlic. Or very little chunks. <laughs> and at least this has got a double <laughs> double zip thing on it. Well, it's not a zip, but a double seal on it. Make sure none of that liquid gets out overnight. And I'll be putting it in the fridge. Yeah, just uh, give it an initial swirl around. So, seal's good. So I'll whack that in the fridge and I'll get back to you tomorrow. So I've just got my meat um, out of that marinade and um, yeah, as I was getting it out, I sort of um, shook a fair bit of the excess off it. Um, so there's still some on it, but um, yeah, it was absolutely covered in it and not just yeah sugar it, sugar it, sugar it. so there's just this bit left on it now and let's get to cooking it
Alrighty guys, so I've just got my stakes off that um, pan there as you can see. Uh, so yeah, it's important that we just let these rest now for at least um, at least half the time that you took to cook them. So yeah, I'll get back to you soon. So I've just figured because we're having like a South American style Brazilian steak meat dish I mean what would go better with it than some chimichurri so I'll just make a simple simple one here my little whizzer so I've just got about uh, three quarters of a cup of roughly chopped parsley there uh, about half a cup coriander got three cloves of garlic I've just got a teaspoon of dried oregano and it goes um, salt in a few dried chili flakes not too many it's not supposed to be spicy but just to liven it up a little bit and just a few liquids juice of one lemon just a couple of teaspoons of red wine vinegar and I've got here nearly a cup of olive oil alrighty I'll just get the um, wizard now we'll zap it up and see how we go Alrighty, so as you can see I've got my um, steak here cooked and um, yeah, just dressed it with some of that chimichurri sauce. Looks good, smells really good. Now I've just done, um, I've done my bits of steak in two different ways. I've got here, as you can probably see, but like this, this one I did quite rare. I'll just show you. focus just to um, yeah, show you you cook it the way you like it but when it's a really good piece of steak like this I like it rare like this let's try it That's so beautiful, tender, yummy. It was worth marinating that overnight. You can really taste it. Mm. Oh, yummo. So I'll just show you um, another bit just in contrast here. So this bit's more, um, yeah, probably a bit more medium rare. Over here. And probably if you're cooking it for a crowd, probably safer to do it that way. Um, not everyone likes them as rare as that, that first bit I showed you. Better try this one too. Mm. Ah, dude, that's good. Mm. The steak's beautiful. The chimichurri sauce is just goes so well with that with that marinated.
Alrighty guys, thanks for watching this one, really appreciate it, and um, if you like it or share it, that'd be good. Thanks to the people that have subscribed to the channel, and if you haven't subscribed, you can do us a favour and hit the subscribe button, it doesn't cost anything, uh, just gives me motivation to keep doing it, but yeah, I'm going to keep doing it anyway, so I'll see you all next time.